Revolutionary Letter for Pear Tree. Perhaps if I write this letter, hope follows. Two weeks ago, my grandmother had asked me to come into the backyard to pick up a dead animal with a shovel. She had said she could not find herself to stare at it, witness it in its death, rotting. Before each meal, she prays and gives thanks for the food she has in front of her. She says amen and eats her meal in silence. Mi abuelo tells me of a story of an unattended fire underneath a mesquite tree, a tarp that sustains itself as a home for him and his family, working the land, changing the land. Para un mundo exacto, extracto. Si había una revolución, era una de oro, a golden vanity beating telephone wires, a system that fails. His one-year-old brother, a brother I did not know of, dies of starvation and sickness, working the land, changing the land. I had forgotten about the idea of growth through a spreading sheet glass, skin, opening wound. Yesterday, in the middle of a white man's voice, I lost hearing, sight. How would things end with your bloodline? A war inside the womb. Curtain revealing a promise, a mistake. Como se acabarán la sangre de tu linaje? I do not think of those consequences of the past anymore. I count the number of birds on a tree, academia shoving itself down my throat. And with all, within all these words, I ask, where is the revolution? Or where is justice? This week, I write questions to interview the poet Ebony Stewart. In one poem, she writes, Us poets, whose duty is to write about the times, Right, because we don't know when we too will become extinct. The wiping out of a material thing. A poet breathing lungs into words. I ask her in response. Extinction within this country, within this world. Is reoccurring, and in most cases in violence. How, as poets, can we prevent extinction from happening? or remove moments of violence. Layla sends me a recipe for a pear tart. I tell her of a dream I had two nights ago where I planted two pear trees, both growing, learning. Lo que va a cambiar, va a cambiar, mamá says. Truth of nothing. And again, again, we arrive, a sweet pear tree that even bears fruit in the cold winter.